How to Drive Miss Smith Mad Watch our new funny video with a new compilation of funny school pranks we don't recommend repeating in class. We are going to arrange a real circus in class. We sneak in a bright garland to the teacher's purse. Tie up a lot of colorful pieces of fabric together, one by one. And put the rainbow garland into a bag. Miss Smith reaches to take a handkerchief out of her bag and takes out heaps of them. Bravo, bravo, it's a real trick. Miss Smith may perform in a circus. Want a real trick? Here you are. Miss Smith can stop the time. When the girls stop moving, Miss Smith ties all the stuff on the desk using fishing line. She ties up the girls too. When the friends wake up, they barely manage to get out of the treacherous teacher's net. Our Miss Smith is like a real spider herself. The teacher can tangle not only the girls. This test is not for the faint of heart. Try to untangle earphones. We will need one pair of regular earphones and a lot of broken earphones with wires of the same color. Cut the earbuds off of the broken earphones and attach the broken plugs to the joining of the working earbuds and the plug. Camouflage the joining place with knots. The blue-eyed girl takes a heap of the earphones out of her backpack. Oh no! How could they have tangled like this? Now a real lottery begins. Which of the plugs is actually working? Don't mess with Miss Smith. You'd rather prank your desk neighbor. Sneak in a glued bottle. Put an empty water bottle on the side. Hot glue the neck layer by layer to close the bottle. Make a small hole in the bottom using a hot glue gun nozzle. Fill the bottle with water through the hole using a syringe. Hot glue to shut it up. The blue-eyed girl wants to take a sip, but the neck of the bottle is sealed. She tries to break it through with scissors, but it's all for nothing. The access to water resources today is denied. I will also return the favor. I will sneak in a weird marker to my friend. Fill a marker cap with flour. Put the cap on. Redhead opens the marker and gets covered with flour. The marker doesn't work and my hands look as if I've been baking buns instead of being in class. Redhead takes her backpack to get some wipes, but she takes out some hay instead. Stuff the backpack with hay. You can buy it at a pet shop. What is going on? Why does my backpack look like it's been at an agricultural exhibition? At least my friend hasn't put in a lamb or a rabbit. Miss Smith wants to put her documents in order, but it looks like the sheet protectors in the folder have closed for a lunch break. Cover a sheet protector with parchment paper on the opening side. Heat it with a flat iron. The sheet protector seals and you can't open it. The teacher tries to open the sheet protector, but it's in vain. She just throws away the damaged sheet protector when she grows impatient and declares a war. Crossbow is her weapon. Hide, everyone! We will need four pencils of the same length. Tie two pairs of pencils with rubber bands. Fasten the tied pencils crosswise. Take an empty pen barrel without the tips and tie it on top. Attach a binder clip behind the barrel. Tie a rubber band to the horizontal pair of pencils so that you get a bowstring. Connect the center with a piece of tape. Stretch the bowstring and fasten it with the binder clip. Insert a refill inside the barrel. Miss Smith is on the warpath. She releases the bowstring and the missile comes out. It aims directly at the students. Air attack of the desk! Rock, paper, scissors. My prank is next. The blue-eyed girl wins. She's lucky. She wipes off the blackboard 
and draws a crown with a title, Queen of Instagram, on it. Miss Smith sits down. Exactly what we need. She fits into the shot perfectly. We take a photo of her with the crown on her head. This photo will get hundreds of likes for sure. And Miss Smith can't figure out why everyone looks at her like that. A real star of Instagram should shine. Let's apply some glitter to our teacher. We walk up to Miss Smith, spray her, and blow glitter into her face. There you go. Now she is definitely a star. We have a new teacher, Miss Pussycat. She is such a nice lady. Anyway, we are going to let her know what awesome pranksters her students are. To begin with, we'll put in a weird additive to improve her coffee taste. Toss any effervescent tablet into a cup of coffee. You may put a few ones at once to get more foam. We are tossing an effervescent tablet into the teacher's cup. Oh, there's going to be a volcano eruption right now. Miss Pussycat is puzzled. What's going on? I teach math, not chemistry. What kind of chemical reaction is it? She uses plenty of napkins to clean the traces of the weird experiments. Well, apparently she'll have to get her coffee some other time. We sneak in two little friends for Miss Pussycat while she is away. Come on, little spiders, take a walk. Cut one finger off an old black glove. Fill it with cotton. Hot glue the edges. Draw eyes and a number one on white paper. Cut out and attach to the body. Crack a toothpick and shade it black to make a spider leg. Hot glue six of the same legs to the sides of the body. Make spiders number two, four, and five in the same way. The teacher comes back. She takes chalk without looking at it. Oh my god! A spider! And one more! And more! What's this? Ah, they have a number. This one is number four. And where are the rest? Here is the first, the second, and the fifth one. And where is the third spider? It isn't under the chair or behind the blackboard. Does it study in a different class? Has it crawled on my head? Phew, there is no number three. Miss Pussycat has just got over her fear of spiders when suddenly a giant black spider comes down from the ceiling right onto her head. Oh dear! Trace a big circle on a piece of black fabric using chalk. Make two identical details. Cut out two semicircles. Make eight identical strips out of the same fabric. Attach four strips opposite each other to the big circle and hot glue the second black circle on top. Leave a little hole to fill the body with cotton. Make a spider head out of two semicircles in the same way. Make eyes from light fabric. Tie knots at the ends of the legs. Cut a finger off an old glove and make a nose. The teacher quickly hops off her seat and rushes out of the class. I didn't agree to teach spiders. No, Miss Smith, deal with your students on your own. Well, are you in huge trouble? Miss Smith is not the one to get scared of spiders so easily. She's an old soldier and an established teacher. After dealing with students like this, she isn't afraid of any spiders. Miss Smith doesn't mind pranking her students herself. Now, she's going to arrange a workout for their eyes and nerves. Print out a picture of an optical illusion and glue it to two facing pages of a notebook. Glue one more illusion to the next facing pages. The teacher hands out the notebooks to the girls. Redhead opens her notebook and enters the trance state. 
everything is whirling around in front of her. Miss Smith must have hypnotized the students to put knowledge right into their heads. And the blue-eyed girl notices spooky spiders on the desk. Cut out printed pictures of spiders. Attach them to a strip of wide clear tape and tape the spiders to the desktop. Ah! Go away, you little monsters! Phew! Fortunately, those are just stickers on the desk. Miss Smith, you won't get away with it! Did you like our school pranks? Then write in your comments how you will prank your friends at school. And don't forget to give your thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click the bell so that you don't miss new prank ideas. Have you ever dreamt about foundation that will be enough for your whole life? Or about eyeshadow that fits into a matchbox? Watch miniature and giant makeup to meet any taste in our new video. Here you go! I have run out of my foundation again! All of a sudden, my old friend from Alice in Wonderland appears next to me. She walked her dog and put on a baseball hat so that the paparazzi wouldn't recognize her. Alice gets down to business at once. Voila! I've got gigantic foundation in my hands! Paint a big jar in cream color from the inside. Paint and cut out a makeup brand logo and glue it to the side of the jar. Trace the lid on a piece of extruded polystyrene foam. Cut it out. Cut two smaller circles and a rectangular nozzle out of the extruded polystyrene foam. Hot glue the biggest circle to the lid. Put together and hot glue the dispenser. Cut in half a plastic bottle of an appropriate size. Attach the dispenser to the lid. Try the clear bottle cap on. Excellent! Cover the dispenser Attach double-sided tape to the bottom part and fasten a strip of a foam rubber sheet to the tape. Put the dispenser on the jar. Cover the rest with black acrylic paint and put a clear cap with the light top on. The foundation is so enormous! It will last for a long time, but how should I apply it? Shall I dip my face directly into the jar? Alice has the solution. She claps her hands and a giant sponge appears in her hands. Make a circle on a sleeping pad. Cut it out and paint both sides with light acrylic paint. I can apply the foundation to my entire body with a makeup sponge like this. I just touch my face with it and the foundation is applied as if by itself. We put the foundation on our faces and hands. We can actually apply it to everything around us. Alice tries her best and conjures, oops, what is this tiny thing? These are mini makeup pencils. Cut the slanted ends off orange wood sticks. Cover one end with black acrylic paint. Leave the sharp end unpainted. Make the second stick silver. Do not paint the sharp end of this one either. Paint the tip of the silver pencil pink. And paint the tip of the black pencil black. Attach the corresponding nail stickers to the pencils. The silver one is a lip liner and the black one is an eye pencil. I take the lip liner. It is so tiny! I define my lips with it. I should be careful not to confuse it with a toothpick. Alice herself sometimes fails to find the tiny eye pencil. It can blend in with its surroundings. 
All of my lip glosses and lipsticks are so pale. I want something bright. Alice conjures desperately, but it seems to be for nothing. Oh, what is this nice thing in my makeup bag? It's a cute lipstick miniature. It turns out that Alice has succeeded, but this time the makeup appeared not in her hands, but right in my makeup bag. Take off a clear cap of a lipstick tester. Make a silver edge on it. Cover the rest of the cap with black acrylic paint. Decorate the top with a plastic rose. The lipstick is tiny, but it does its job perfectly. Now I look as bright as a rose. I am missing one detail for a fabulous makeup. I need to emphasize my eyes. But what should I use for my eye makeup? Alice takes out a mini eyeshadow. Paint an empty matchbox black. Color the outer cover of the matchbox black too. Leave one side unpainted. Make only a black frame. Cover the middle with a few layers of silver paint. And decorate with nail stickers. Cut an empty blister package to fit the inside part of the box. Paint it black too. Crush eyeshadow you broke or finished using and fill the sections of the blister. Add a drop of rubbing alcohol and compact the eyeshadow. Put the palette miniature into the box. It's like a miracle! The eyeshadow is small indeed, but it works well. I do makeup to my magic friend, emphasizing her eyes. Then I try to define her cheekbones, but all I managed to do is a pink dot. Mmm, it's okay. I repeat it on her other cheek. Alice doesn't mind. Are there different beauty standards in Wonderland? Where is my eyeshadow? The problem with the makeup miniatures is that you can lose it easily. Here we go. I've lost the magic present, and Alice will never conjure for me anymore. Keep calm. Alice has prepared a special palette, which is hard to let out of sight for those who keep losing makeup. Trace a square plastic food container on a piece of extruded polystyrene foam. Cut it out and paint it black. Let the detail dry and put it into the container. Mark the middle on a foam plastic ball. Measure out half an inch to both sides beyond the middle line. Draw the lines and cut out the ball. Cover the semi-sphere with acrylic paint and sprinkle it with glitter of an appropriate color as long as the paint is wet. Make four semi-spheres of different pastel shades and attach them to the XPS bottom of the box. Print out a makeup brand logo and attach it to the lid of the container. Oh, it's so cute! The huge eyeshadow palette is what any girl dreams about. You definitely won't lose it. I want to apply the eyeshadow with my finger, but my hand is way too small. Alice slaps me on my hand. Don't touch it with your hands. You need a special tool to apply this beauty. And a giant applicator appears in my magic fairy hands. Take a plastic wrap or foil tube and mark one inch from each end. Cover the middle with bright acrylic paint. Paint the ends black. Wrap a piece of XPS with polyester fiber filling. Wind thread around to fasten the detail. Make two identical details and attach them to both ends of the tube. Print a logo and attach it to the applicator. I start juggling with my new present. Be careful! Don't hurt your eye, you are going to put your makeup on. Then my magical makeup artist takes matters into her hands. She takes some eyeshadow onto the applicator and applies it to my eyes. Splendid! The giant makeup looks like magic, except that there's one problem. How should I tuck it into my little purse? My vain attempts make Alice laugh. You need a whole suitcase for this makeup, but not a makeup bag. And if you don't have a suitcase, you can make mini versions of your needed makeup products to fit in your small makeup bag. For example, this lovely little highlighter. Paint an empty glitter container black. Leave the center of the lid clear. 
Fill the container with highlighter balls. Decorate the lid using nail stickers. This highlighter is so tiny that you can keep it in your pocket. You don't need any makeup bag for it. Alice doesn't mind doing her makeup too. She emphasizes her lips with tender mini lip gloss. Here you are. Take my mirror. Cut off the bottom of a single-use toothpaste tube. Take out the paste left over and clean the tube. Mix pink eyeshadow with Vaseline. Put the gloss into the tube. Close the hole with a binder clip and heat it over a candle to seal the hole. Paint the tube black. Cover the cap with silver paint. Attach small nail stickers to the tube. The lip gloss is so cute! I'm sure the fairies use makeup like this. I want to learn how to conjure. What if I managed to make a makeup miniature all of a sudden? I direct all of my energy. Makeup us appear us! Oh, magic! I've conjured a mini eye pencil. I show my invention to Alice. And why isn't she amazed? It's a pity that the pencil doesn't work. We will fix this function next time. Did you like our weird makeup ideas? Then write in your comments which size of makeup you choose, mini or a giant one. And be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so that you always keep up with all the magic stuff.